the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. Let's take off, we're all ready to roll. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Wake up, Gorga, it's time to play. Come on, Captain Bula, let's welcome the day. Where's that cedar? Ready to go. Wizzy and Wig are good to glow. Beakers bubbling, turning blue. Motors making something new. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Way, way out where the planets do the hula. Spin and shout till you find yourself on Zula. See your round walls at Mission Control. It's fun to learn with the Zula Patrol. Space! There are all kinds of things out here. Chunks of ice, balls of gas, uh, giant soccer playing sock puppets. <laughs> I, Dark Truder, Master of Mischief, Sultan of Sneakiness. I will now reveal the most devious device ever created. A gravity grabbing, planetary pulling, galaxy gobbling, world woman universe reverser! Yeah. <gasps> what went wrong? You built it? That's my guess. And it looks like you made it out of all the wrong minerals. Trudy, if you don't use the right minerals for the job, things don't work right. Traxy, you've given me an idea. Forget reversing the universe. I've got a bigger, better, and even more villainous scheme. Quick, teach me everything you know about minerals. It's all right here in this book. <laughs> hey, could you move over a little bit? Uh, excuse me. Oh, I wish there was more space in here. Zeter, I need to check the control panel under all your rocket parts. Do you have to work on the panel right now? I do if you want the turbo jets upgraded. There's no room in the hangar. And Malta is using my desk for his rocks. Sorry, I need to sort and group the minerals in these rocks. And there's not enough space in my lab. Perhaps we should think about making headquarters bigger. Yeah! <laughs> we could make some great changes while we're at it. I'd like to switch the old copper wiring in these panels to new fiber optics made from quartz. I'd like a mica tile floor. I've always wanted calcite stone planters for my greenhouse. We want a giant iron magnet for our room so we never have to pick up our stuff. <laughs> a gold statue of you? Um, okay, well, that's an idea. Quartz, mica, calcite, iron, gold, the same minerals that are in these rocks. The key is making things from the right minerals. What exactly are minerals anyway? Let's check the Maltopedia. <laughs> minerals are natural, non-living substances formed in the Earth. A mineral always has a crystalline structure. That means its atoms, the tiny bits that make up all matter, are locked in the same pattern, repeated over and over again. All rocks are made up of minerals. You can think of a rock as being like a loaf of raisin nut bread. <sighs> this loaf of bread may look simple from the outside, but it's made out of lots of different ingredients. Raisins, nuts, flour, yeast. And just like a loaf of bread, a rock is made of different ingredients. And those ingredients are minerals. Minerals have been studied for thousands of years. Most of Earth is made of minerals, as are other moons and planets. And scientists have come up with many ways to tell one mineral from another. They're called a mineral's properties. One way is by its color. Another way is by how shiny it is. That's called its luster. Or whether you can see through it. Or even how hard it is. <laughs> minerals make up many of the things we use every single day. For instance, the mineral feldspar is one of the ingredients of cement, which is used to pave sidewalks. Iron is used to make steel, which holds up buildings. 
Tin from cassiterite is in tin cans. Chromium can be used to make rockets. Talc is in talcum powder. The list goes on. Wow! Minerals are all around us. Hey, I wonder if we could learn to identify minerals. Let's use our field guide and try it. <laughs> See, Traxy? It's just a matter of mixing up a few minerals. Now this tin will go to a manufacturer who thinks he's getting iron. <laughs> Where do I come up with this stuff? Switching mica with talc? <laughs> I'm so rotten. Feldspar with diamonds. <laughs> Chromium with zinc. In a few days, Zulu will start to crumble before our eyes. Am I good or what? I vote for what? Now, it's on to step two. This mineral is a shiny, silvery color. I think it is silver. But let's check its hardness. Hmm. It doesn't scratch. Then it's not silver, since silver is soft enough to scratch. Maybe it's titanium. Come in. Yes, it's true. It's me, the one and only Trudy Darce, host of the popular television show, Your Home Looks Bad. I'm here to help you redo this place in all the latest, most fabulous materials. So, for my TV special, Shabby Homes of Heroes, I will transform this tacky home into a beautiful Darce creation. And at no charge. Wow, really? Okay. Let's work some magic, people! Oh! Beautiful! Look what she did! It, it looks, looks brand new! new. Yeah! Oh. Oh. She left before we could thank her! Funny, her ship looks so familiar! Zula Patrol! Come in, Zula Patrol! This is an emergency! There's terrible trouble in Zulopolis! Nothing is working like it's supposed to! Cars are falling apart! Playgrounds are melting! Sidewalks are sprouting sharp points! Houses are shaking like gelatin! This is a job for the Zula Patrol! Our spaceship is purring like a kitten! This new chromium hull really makes a difference! Uh, okay, this kitten sounds a little weird. Does anyone else feel something strange? Yes! I don't understand. The ship should be even stronger now that it's made of chromium. We'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to find out what's going on in Zoopolis. Oh, dear. I can tell you one thing that's going on. Take a look. Thanks to me, this bank vault was built with tin instead of iron. All I needed was a can opener. Yeah, I'd hold on to it if I were you. You're gonna need it to get out of jail. The good guys are here. That's nice. Wonder if I have time for a nap. Strange. Truder isn't running away. Great! He'll be easier to catch! What? The ship's melting! That can't be right! These jets aren't hot enough to melt chromium! Out for a spin? Enjoy it! <laughs> I have the only things on Zula that work anymore! <laughs> How do we save Zulopolis from Truder with a wobbly ship? Ah! How odd. This chalk has little pieces of metal in it. If I'm not mistaken, they look like copper. <laughs> What is this? This floor isn't mica tile. It's a powdery talc. Hmm, something very strange is going on here. Something very strange is going on everywhere. We examined a piece that melted off the ship. It's not chromium, it's zinc. No wonder it was melting. Zinc is very soft and it melts at a much lower temperature than chromium. Oh my, it seems all the new minerals here and on the ship are wrong. That must be what's happening all over Zula. Wait a minute, all our new phony minerals came from Trudy Darze. I thought I recognized her spaceship. 
Trudy Darthe is Darth Truder. Of course. This is so like him. All right. So now our ship is made of zinc. Maybe zinc has some property we can use. <gasps> I know. High luster, which means it's shiny. Let's get some rags. We have a lot of polishing to do. <laughs> oh, my. They really should build these toy stores better. <laughs> now, let's go get me that choo-choo. Dark Truder, give yourself up. Try and stop me in your jelly mobile. <laughs> Right where I want you. Now! <laughs> huh? Hey, I can't see where I'm <laughs> So, you got a plan, C? Great job, team. That ought to keep Trudy busy for a while. At least long enough for us to straighten out all the mixed up minerals on Zula. Minerals! They keep our ship in flight. Minerals! You've got to use them right. When you know just what each one can do, you can build a house, a rocket, and computer, too! Minerals! You'll find them inside rocks. Minerals! They make our cars and clocks. Use them wrong and nothing will work right! Wobbly, shaky, jerky, breaky, what a silly sight! So, even though their home and ship were made of the wrong stuff, the Zulu patrollers were made of the right stuff! Hello, Mineral Maven, and welcome to the Molto Moment. Testy, do you know where minerals come from? Sure! Cereal boxes! Vitamins, too! <laughs> Actually, most minerals come from rocks. Minerals are non-living, naturally occurring substances with a crystalline structure. When something is crystalline, it means that its atoms are locked in the same pattern over and over again. All rocks are made up of one or more minerals, and each mineral has properties to help us identify it, such as color, hardness, and luster. How about squeakiness? My cousin is a mirror and he squeaks. Oh, my. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>